I'm Dr. Susan Jones. I'm a professor in the Department of Entomology at Ohio State University. Today I'd like to show you a technique that you can use to vacuum up bed bugs as well as monitor for bed bugs. Assemble a few items in order to have this technique work properly. First, you're going to need some nylon knee-high stockings. You want to make sure that they have no tears, no rips, no runs in them because we're going to have these contain the bed bugs. You want to have a vacuum of some sort that has an extension wand. Um, and the nylon stocking is going to be inserted into the extension wand. I'll show you that in a minute. You also want to have some bags that you can seal and dispose of your bag of bugs when we're finished. Okay, so let's take the nylon knee high and insert it into our extension wand. You can actually just uh, use your finger to uh, poke it into the hole or take the eraser end of a pencil. Actually, as soon as you turn this on, the suction is going to pull that nylon stocking down into the extension wand. So you want to either put a rubber band around it or you want to affix it in place with, your, uh, with the, the um, nozzle. Then when we turn this on, we have a stocking that is in place. Notice that I'm holding it because if I wasn't holding it, it would actually be sucked into the vacuum. Okay, so now we're ready. We're going to turn on our vacuum and we are going to look in the cracks and crevices of furniture items and other hiding places where we might find bed bugs. So I'm turning on the vacuum. Now I am using a rubbing action because bed bugs tend to cling to surfaces. The eggs are affixed in place, so I want to do a scraping action. Now, as soon as I as soon as I have turned off that vacuum, I want to immediately tie off this nylon stocking. So I have kept it inside the extension wand. I've created a knot and now I pull it out and we have a bag of bugs or collected items. Now what we're going to do is take the knotted knee-high stocking. I'm going to stretch it out hold it up to the light, and I am looking for movement, and I'm, or I'm looking for the shape of bed bugs or their shed skin. Okay, as we stretch out the nylon stocking, we're going to point out the bed bugs. Notice that they're moving, so this is confirmation that we have an active infestation. Here's a stocking from a different chair. I am seeing lots of bed bug debris. I'm seeing the shape of bed bugs, but I don't see any movement. Sometimes bed bugs don't move right away, but as I look at this, I can see there are definite signs of bed bugs not necessarily active bed bugs. Now that we've examined these stockings and uh, noted that there were live bed bugs or bed bug shed skins, we're going to put them into a bag for disposal. We're going to seal the bag and now we're going to take this and put it in an outside garbage container. Okay, so I hope that you have found this demonstration helpful, that you will use this vacuum technique to capture bed bugs 
as well as monitor for bed bugs. You literally can capture thousands of bed bugs and every bed bug that you remove from the premises is one less bug that is feeding on you.